Before you enter the great hall, please place your right palm on the stone and swear to it solemnly. I wish to be baptized in the water of Gnosis and be rid of the long darkness of ignorance. I ask my tongue to be taken, for it has spoken mindless words, and I shall stay silent for the truth. I choose to leave the fragments of matters behind me and enter the great hall of forms as clean as a newborn. I swear to let matters stay in the world of matter and a form in the world of forms. I swear to reveal no secrets or my heart shall be taken by the vulture, my body consumed in flames, my soul trapped in the endless wheel of birth. Now, knock three times on the stone. Put on these ceremonial dresses. That'd be all. Remember to enter the hall from the right and leave from the left. You are the humblest audience here, hence not allowed to speak. Please, stay quiet and keep the secrets you heard at heart. I will arrange your meeting with six after this. No problem. Miss Sophia, could you give us some privacy? Please, enjoy. I have nothing more to say. Vertin, are we really going to do this? That oath we have to make to enter the hall sounds vicious. To stay quiet and keep the secrets. It's similar to the training we once received. I can go inside on behalf of Timekeeper. No, I'll come with you, Sonetto. What? I can't sense any sign of arcane skill on this stone. The oath is more of a formality than a curse. The warning is lifted then? But when Sophia repaired the floor in front of us with her arcane skill, there's no fluctuation of arcane power either. I can't even sense the slightest signs. It's either a kind of arcane skills we're not able to detect, or the moment we stepped onto this island, we've been trapped in a tremendous ritual. That's to say, any Arcanum used on this island is only a part of this giant flow. We don't know where this flow is leading us. We know nothing about it. It's too perilous, Timekeeper. I know, Sonetto. But as long as we obey their rules, we won't get into other trouble. The doctrine of the Aperon is to live in solitude and seek nothing but the truth. In fact, They've never been aggressive towards us. <laughs> I think of this differently. Think, the pure blood arcanist community, the unknown arcanum power, and the obsession with certain knowledge or identity. Sound familiar? Yet, we haven't spotted any traces of the manners here. Manus Vindicte is like the rat living in the gutter. I don't think they will let go of such a favorable chance. Which means we need to find out the truth. I believe in Timekeeper. I have zero interest in this meeting. I'll stay outside to keep a lookout. Take care.
I wish to be baptized in the water of Gnosis and be rid of the long darkness of ignorance. I ask my tongue to be taken, for it has spoken mindless words, and I shall stay silent for the truth. I choose to leave the fragments of matters behind me and enter the great hall of forms as clean as a newborn. I swear to let matter stay in the world of matter and a form in the world of forms. I swear to reveal no secrets. All my, my heart, heart shall be taken, taken by the vulture, my body consumed in flames, my soul trapped in the endless wheel of birth. Fellow brothers, sisters, our quest for Gnosis had suffered three unprecedented crises. First was the discovery of irrational numbers, and then the creation of imaginary numbers. Last was the loss of the grand unification of different lineages. The truth was buried, and history was rewritten. But the emanation is not a crisis. Instead, it's our last salvation. The supreme existence has once again shown itself to us. The door to the everlasting transcendent world of forms has opened once again. As Numa pours down, things are rewound to the world of light. Everything in the world of matter breaks into pieces, for they are as delicate as a petal before it. We, who have the honor to witness the emanation of Numa, have the privilege to survive the turning of the Wheel of Birth. Because we know the truth. Our survival is destined. It is the beginning of a mission to bring the unseen truth into this world. Thank you. The next orator is 37, our smallest irregular prime, and the brightest star of Hermes. The emanation in 1929 only lasted for two days. All methods to calculate the Numa emanation failed. We found no pattern in the occurrence of time reversal. All our efforts in the past four years have gone completely wasted. That's the end of my speech. Sereno, intenso ed infinito. Shh. Who did that? Who broke the silence? <gasps> Sorry, timekeeper. I just. Ready to run, Sneto. The Abraxas is a coming.